is going on, y'all? This is Malik. Oh, boost. And uh, it's been about mm, six, seven months since I actually serviced this thing. Cleaned it up real good. I'm starting to see some leaves and some dirt and some rocks gather and sit. Look at this. Look at this. I'm starting to see that stuff sit at the bottom of my unit. And oh my gosh. Oh, we're going to have to pull that fan off to get that stuff out. So we're going to do a little servicing on my unit today because uh, that's just what needs to be done. And I don't like when I peek my head out that window right there, you know, or either one of these windows or off the back deck, and I see a dirty pad, and I see dirt and mud splashed up on this unit, and I see acorns and stuff, and I see mm, leaves and stuff and spiderwebs sitting in the bottom of my unit. So we're going to reach down. And we're going to snatch that stuff right up out of there and clean this thing up real good. You hear me what I'm saying? And we're going to put it back together and we're going to turn it on cooling mode. And we're going to let it ramp up the fifth stage so it'll kind of self-dry itself off. And you know what I'm saying? Just to dry itself off and let that condenser coil get warm and evaporate that water off of it. And then we're going to put it back in the auto mode. So uh, step one, we need to go inside. We need to turn it off even if it's running gas or if it's dual fuel or whatever even if it's not doing anything at all that thing could pop on with you trying to work on it and even if you got the power turned off outside this still has power on it and it's trying to communicate with something that doesn't have power on it and you'll generate a communication fault so turn it off from the inside to all my service techs this that i got here is all the materials that i need to service my unit I have a lot of these labels faced where you can't see them because as an HVAC technician, I don't need you as a civilian, a homeowner, a business owner going and trying to buy none of this stuff. Um, I'm not going to tell you the name of it. You can find anything online, but this stuff is highly corrosive. If it gets on your skin, water alone is not going to take it off your skin. I'm serious. This stuff right here. This is condenser coil cleaner is what it is. I'll just go ahead and show the brand. I don't really care. Um, you're not going to be able to get this from a supply store if you are not a HVAC certified technician or a certified instructor of some sort. This stuff is very corrosive. Like it literally says, causes skin burns and eye damage. May be corrosive to metals, okay? This is designed to go on the materials that these coils and air conditioners are made of. And it is, this stuff will literally pull algae off the house. It will literally pull algae off this deck. It will shine your concrete. It will literally, like, you, everybody thinks when you clean these things, you have to have a scrubber. No, we use this because it actually forces dirt out of the coils. It actually, like, it'll go on as a white foam. It mixes with water, and it comes with its own uh, spray nozzle. So this actually is a kit, so you get the the new Cal Jones nozzle, the uh, new Cal Jones coil gun, which it only works with that spray nozzle. And it'll just attach here. And this is actually adjustable. So I can adjust how intense of a cleaning I want. And for the HVAC technicians, if you ever go to one of those high holes or one of those, um, just any unit that has some type of paint protection or some of those mini splits that have that blue coating on the coils or that black coating on those coils, those high holes, um, I think they're the Heil Observers, if I'm not, no, nah, they're the, I can't remember what they are, but those, or the Kenmore version of Heil, um, you know, just that version, you need to not let this be any higher than B or C, so you can go, the further you go in, up in the alphabet, the less intense it is, so it'll go all the way down to just being none, but then A, B, C, D, you know, C, but anyway, I like to keep mine on A and just actually do the dilution. So I'll fill it up. If it doesn't have any coating on it and if the coil is extremely dirty, I'll fill the whole thing up with cleaner. But a lot of times I like to stop halfway and just dilute the rest of it with water because if you keep it clean already and if you do your job every time you go to the house or if you clean your own units, you don't have to worry about being extremely intense. So let me tell you something. I only clean my unit when it needs to. I don't clean it out of obsession because this stuff will eat up a condenser coil if you don't rinse it off all the way. 
So you'll cause premature leaks if you don't thoroughly rinse that crap out. That's the reason I've got this leaf blower, which is next, because water likes to sit in the bottom of these units. And it's very hard to get it out, the water, the foam. So when I'm done trying to rinse it out as good as I can, I'm going to use this probably until the battery dies to dry that crap out the bottom of it. And then I'm going to cut it on, like I said, I'm going to put it on cooling mode and let that condenser coil get warm and evaporate and pull air across whatever's left because I don't want none of that crap just sitting in my unit. So let's get to it. I forgot to point out that you will need a socket set um, because the screws and the bolts that go for the fan are not the same as you need to disconnect that fan and take it off. I like to take my fan completely off. I do not like to dangle my fan across the unit. That's around and damage and clip wires and stuff. So, um, yeah, and of course you need hoses, you know. Setting myself up. It is important that on this type of unit with an inverter or any unit with an inverter that you unplug it. Like I said, I turned it off inside. There is still all types of AC and DC voltage sitting on this unit. This is an inverter, so it takes AC and it converts it to DC. It's kind of like the same idea in a car where it takes the DC and reconverts it back to AC so you can like use an actual plug outlet um, if you have one of those types of things and charge stuff, you know. But this one, I have to unplug this disconnect, this high voltage power, for at least two minutes before I even, this record, I mean, I can take the cover off, but before I reach my hands on that board, that inverter board needs to be completely discharged and grounded or whatever because you get shocked by what's went from 240 volt AC to whatever it converts DC, you, you might not wake back up. So yeah, we're gonna do that right quick. I'm gonna pull that disconnect out. And I'm gonna let that thing just discharge. So I'm gonna let that discharge. I'm gonna set my hoses up and all that good old stuff. Zero G is the best hose, by the way. That's what I use. This is a hundred feet of hoses that will wrap around in a five-gallon bucket. So, does this work? Can I ever use this? Yes, it does. Okay. I have not used this one. I've used one in the front. I will say, until you're ready to use these hoses, you do not want to leave standing water in them because these hoses are like sixty dollars. <laughs> these hoses. <laughs> these hoses. Go buy you some hoes. <laughs> if I don't quit, I'm gonna step on my line set trying to be funny. But yeah. All right, now I'm gonna get ready to set this up right quick. Also, you do not wanna mix these colors. If you mix blue and brown or blue and pink or blue and the yellow you're going to create a chemical reaction that's probably going to melt this bottle so yeah and this condenser coil isn't that big and it isn't that dirty but uh i'm gonna go ahead and get this solution mixed up or whatever you know Good lord. So that's probably gonna knock my tripod over the way it's expanded. Got a couple kinks in it because that's a lot of pressure coming in, not a lot of pressure coming out. You know? Unkink, dang it. Something like that, you know. Alright. Put this top on, let it sit there and let them suds calm down a little bit. And then just connect. I knew I had a kink somewhere. Alright, now 
Don't be showing out for my video. You little rascal. Is this the right one? No, oh, hold on. I'm gonna use my hose in a while. There we go. Alright, we'll sit that right there for now. Because I'm really not ready for it. Alright. This inverter board ought to be discharged by now. I never clean my units with the power door open, but I am taking my fan off. So, DC fan, oh my God, it's freaking wrapped around that thing. I don't, oh, I can just disconnect it from here. Okay, we're good. As you can tell, this is the first time I've ever taken my own unit apart. What in the hell? Why would they do it like that? I don't want to, you know. We'll see. I could probably do it without. Anyway, I'm going to use my socket now. Try to get the fan off. My dang Bryant. Why did y'all do that? A little spring cleaning, you know what I'm saying? Got to get this thing ready for spring time. People think service is not important, it is extremely important. This is the first time I've ever taken this fan off. Or the fan off on one of these period. over like that, you know. I think it's zip tied in there too. Great, great Brian. Thank you so much for just making this harder for me. down in there to get these leaves out and there's spiders in there and all that good crap you know what I'm gonna try a different I'm gonna put that door back on first though it's getting dark out here boys All right, now, I need to, man, darn spider webs all in this line.
gonna do a pre-soak right quick. So, oh, move my grill. another leap. Alright, now we're about to get up close and real personal, boys. Ladies and gentle fish. Look at that dirt coming out the bottom of that thing. See, they don't look that dirty from a distance, do they? Now. Here we go. Oh, y'all want to be closer? I got you. Hold on, hold on. We need a little more soap, boy. See how it's foaming through the other side. See how it's foaming. See how it's foaming. Let's get a little more. See, I spray it on this side and it forces it through the other side. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No scrubbing needed. Now let's get it from this side. Oh, yeah. I just want to off real good. Look at how it's steaming. 
See, that, that cleaner actually stains, boys. Yes, it does. That's why you don't want to get that crap on your skin. some of y'all are wondering what that is in that blanket right there the compressor is up under that that's the suction line accumulator right there the pressure equalization valve this is a low pressure switch this is a high pressure switch that is the reversing valve and then there is a muffler kind of thing um, so yeah then there is the EEV valve right there so that is the electronic expansion valve just for those of y'all that are wondering For those of you that are civilians, you know, you're not technicians. Um, the purpose of the electronic expansion, no, the pressure equalization valve is when this unit stops running, the pressure on the high side or suction side and the high pressure side, so the low side suction, high side, um, the high side is the liquid slash mm, hot, hot vapor that goes through this condenser coil. The purpose of this entire unit is to turn that hot vapor into a uh, warm liquid, if you will. So when this is not clean, that's what I mean when I say it's extremely important. When this thing is not clean and it's caked up with dirt, leaves, bugs, grass, when you're cutting grass, you blow grass on it, it cannot do that effectively. So that causes higher utility bills, that causes the thing to run longer, that causes the pressure in the system to be higher when it's cooling. And then in the winter time when you're trying to pick up heat, because this is a heat pump, when you're trying to pick up heat, it makes it where it ices over more. So if it's icing over more because it's not getting the correct amount of airflow with that fan because the coil is blocked, that means it freezes up more and you get more defrost cycles, which means your auxiliary heat runs more often or your gas heat comes on more often. So keeping this clean, even if it doesn't look dirty, is extremely important. This is a double coil design. No, it's not. It's yeah, No, it's a single coil design. So. I could look through this thing right now and I should be able to see through those fins just like that. Same on the other side. I should be able to look through there and see those fins just shiny just like that. And now I'm about to go get that leaf blower and blow this thing out after I rinse all this soap off from around this pad and around this unit. Um, and then I'm going to go cut that thing on cooling mode and let it ramp up the fifth stage after I wire that fan back in. So yeah, that is my inverter fan right there. So that's what does that little dancey dance you know um i would clean that but i'm kind of scared to clean that i don't want to spray water on that i do want to clean that blade though so i might pop that blade off and clean it good old craftsman electric 20 volt leaf blower <laughs>
And that is exactly where all my pressure is going. Well, you know what? My hose bursted. Try it. Right. Try it. Right. All right. Anyway, now I'm putting my unit back together now. Don't fall with this darn fan. I'm telling you. Yeah. You little rascal. Come here, the. There it is. Must be spotless, you know what I'm saying?
hot now. We need to power this thing back on. So we got this thing all cleaned up and shined up. You know what I'm saying? Pad clean. Got the lights on the board. Meaning we do have power. Yes, we got the greens. We got the reds. We got the high voltage. We got what we're supposed to have. Now let's go put this thing on fifth stage cooling. Run. Run! How much water are you going to spit out? And that right there is how you properly clean a heating and cooling system, or at least the outside part. Uh, the main reason I've done this video, it wasn't to be a full service video. It was just because I had nothing to do. And a lot of people that know me, when I used to post videos, little short, little 30 second videos like that on my Snapchat, they would just fall in love with the way that foam just comes across and, and falls down and just covers the whole coil and foams up. And then when I rinse it off, it just falls off the coil and on the ground. And it look, I don't know what it is. It's like an ASMR thing, but hey, um, uh, you know, everybody's got their own little things that interest them. But uh, we're gonna let that thing dry itself off and get down to 68 degrees. And then I'm gonna turn it back off and, you know, put it back in auto mode. So uh, thank y'all for watching. This has been Malik Oboost, Bryant Evolution 18 series. Pure. Yes, sir. Let's go, y'all. The weather's changing already, dude. It was like almost 70 degrees today. But uh, if y'all would uh, hit that lovely uh, subscribe button, share button, like button, and I will see y'all next time.